Now, technology, it is just everywhere, and nearly every household has multiple devices that connect to the World Wide Web, of course, and it's not always just your computer. One of the few labs conducting cybersecurity threats for consumer products happens to be located inside of UAlbany's Research and Development Complex, and today we took a tour inside. Okay. Inside UAlbany's Hack IoT Lab, it's not uncommon to see robots roaming the halls, students on their computers, and a whole host of gadgets and gizmos you might find inside your own home. This is very essential. We are moving into the area where everything is connected. What can I help you with? Including your kids' toys. So most of our niche is looking at vulnerable sector technology, such as devices that are used by children, and devices that are used by seniors. Well, it's estimated that by the year 2025, households will have 41.6 billion devices connected to the internet. Bots like Zenbo here, and students right now are working with these robots to find out what sort of information they're collecting when somebody asks it a question like, hey Zenbo, what's the weather like? Okay, the weather on now, Albany will be cloudy. But one of the products that we've worked on um, is sitting around here. Um, I cannot fully disclose, but usually we'll communicate with a particular company first. We need to give the company the opportunity to fix a particular problem. But they're not just working with major companies. Most recently, a group of grad students acted as cybersecurity consultants for a local Jewish temple. We looked at their computers. We looked at the data that they're storing. And they were able to pinpoint weak spots in security. A part of it was... Uh, financial data. Um, it wasn't really protected. It's a type of work cybersecurity student Robert Elfie hopes will help people see the dangers behind their devices. We downloaded a portal uh, that looked like a Google login page. A student turned ethical hacker. He set up a fake Wi-Fi network ready for anyone to connect to with their device. It's actually not the legitimate network and you will have no, absolutely no way of telling. All in an effort to show people what not to do and the dangers devices carry when connected to the internet. Sorry, there are things. And obviously that's the big fear is if you're connecting to the internet, you're giving them all your password information. Yeah. So you wanna make sure that connection is secure. So that's what they're hoping to educate people uh, really all throughout the community. You made a new friend today too, Zenbo. Zenbo. You guys get along, yeah. Yeah, new best friend, all right. <laughs>